I feel like I only just got a new ruler. And now I have another one. The Emperor is dead. Long live the Emperor. Hmm. South Africa is yours. I'm heading to Brazil. Tibetan Brazil. It's coming. This may not look like peak performance to you, but I assure you it probably is. Oh no, oh, Florida the... entered into an alliance with Spanish Louisiana. Whatever will actually, we do? I actually hope they kind of rebel here. They're not on it yet, right? Uh, not yet. Still, the colony. The British size quite high. Oh yes, that is a almost 100,000 Louisiana. Hey, glorious, flawless Khmer, who is the bestest friend ever. Um, hello, is that me? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Uh, the Maldives appear to have rebelled again, and I'm curious if you are still available to uh, see if you um, can teach their old man a lesson again. Yep. Um, I, uh, all my ships are in the uh, Pacific at the moment, but I can certainly uh, send some troops yeah, over that, that way. Not like it needs to be done in the next couple months or something like that, just... You know, eventually. Hey, look! Uh, Spanish revolutionaries. Interesting. I almost want to squish their army and make them become a revolutionary power. <laughs> Just so that we could crush the revolution and get some prestige for that? Potentially. Oh my, well that is where the uh, Spanish army is. Why are oh, you I in Italy? I was just heading to the Falcon now, once and I see uh, 20,000 Tibetans there already. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hello! Welcome to New Falklandia. Welcome to New Tibet. Question, may I have the Falklands? I'm not sure if I'm, a lot, uh, if I'm even able to actually take them. I suspect uh, it's going to be too I far away. see. Uh, but who knows? Oh, I'll, I'll see if it's even possible for me to try and, like, separate piece for them. If not, I'd, I'd be quite uh, interested in that territory, and I'd be more than happy to make it worth your while in terms of uh, money or other resources. Cannot select this province because Tibet cannot make it a core. Are you close mm. to selecting another thing in the Age of Revolutions? Because one of them is ignore coring distance. Oh, uh, good question. Um, let's see. I'm at 743, and I need 800. So, yeah, I'm pretty close. Well, we can always uh, do that. Unrestricted conquest, yes. I'm, I've got a large capital, I'm an emperor, and I have a great leader. Do I have a subject with that? This is my most developed subject. Come on, Pope boy. Don't drag this on. Don't make me get more people over here, because I will. I won't like it. I'll cry and complain the whole time. Oh, 
something I've noticed with my Oiders is that the uh, all the options for the, the most talented Oiders all seem to be from non-supported cultures. I wonder if that's the thing that the game does deliberately. Well, they do have a lot of cultures where you are, I think. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm lucky because Japan somehow only has two cultures. Oh, just got mm. uh, association. No, what, what just happened? Okay. Uh, Three, there we go. I believe. Minus the Ainu. But everyone forgets about the Ainu. Yes, that's true. I do have to hang out. Which I did forget about. Alright, I'm going to... I'm, I'm also sending my fleet to attack Castilian Brazil with death. Ah, Jesus, oh, my fleet got flipped for goddamn revolution. Oh, that's annoying. Your fleet became revolutionary? No, Madrid flipped two revolutionaries, so we lost like 20% oh. more score. Too stupid. Yeah, that, that, that's fine. I'm busy getting the Pope out right now, and then I'll just swing yeah. back over to Spain. That's where all my forces is right, are right now. I see your guys are landing in Santa Catarina, I'll land in San Vicente to the north. So we'll stay close enough that our units can mutually reinforce if they need to. I don't have. Uh, oh, I thought I had more troops. What's going on? Uh, the, 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 you do have more troops. They just all starved on the way over, so they have to reinforce. Oh, oh yeah. You know, okay. Yeah. As happens, you know, they just starved on the trip over. It happens. Yeah. I have a wild idea on uh, how to fight the final boss. The Ottomans. I could take Napoli from the Pope, and then uh, use that as a reason to fight the Ottomans. Lol. To take Napoli back, <laughs> to take Italy back from those filthy Turkish. Yeah, the only reason I had to shift most of my army to Italy is because the Pope's army showed up, and the... Oh, here we go. I just found the entire Castilian-Brazilian army. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Um, Not even waiting. <laughs> I've got your bank if you need it. Let me at him. Let me at him. Twelve thousand ducats to embrace the industrialization. Drop in the bucket for China. He has just been seven, uh, seven for a thousand. Two. There we That's go. Good. Damn, it feels good to be Tibetan. Real Tibetan ass. <laughs> Tibetan spins his per wheel right. <laughs> I think I just. Screwed up here. Let's see, yeah. Wiped a few units, but it should be okay. Yeah, it's okay. I just lost 40,000 soldiers. It's okay. It's okay. Oh god. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Come on, hurry up with the Pope, man! Of course he receives Napoli. Alright, I just got unrestricted conquest. So this will be the solution to the Falklands co co uh, problem. Is it Spanish? Is it English? No. It's Tibetan. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. How good does it feel to be solving all of these internecine conflicts? So, yes, of course. Alright, Pope man, I'll re-siege everything again if that's what you really want. 
no, you. Wait, you didn't even build a castle in Rome. Might oh. take so long. To... That's a lot of French people. Hey, Maldives are finally being liberated from their liberators. Yeah, I think once they're liberated, I'm going to convert them, since they're going to have all the more reason to not randomly rebel after I convert them. Okay, here we go, Daft. Uh, what's something? Oh, uh, well, battles are happening in uh, the colonial region. Oh, I just moved up north, so... Uh... Oh. So I'm not around, unfortunately. Uh... Hmm. I'm sending my fleet back south again. Oh my god, they've got... 72 plus... Yeah, yeah. The, the reason I'd left our forces here was so that we'd mutually support. Right. Okay, well, we had a miscommunication there. Um, uh, okay. Hmm. Well, we'll see how... Uh, I might be able to wipe Remote. this force before the reinforcements hit. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just lost a battle somewhere, but I don't know where it was. Um, oh, it's uh, Florida is beating up my vassal in the Pacific. That's great. Oh, hey, nice work. Um, I'm landing on the Brazilian coast, but also you've already dealt yeah, with something. Well, yes, it was a little costly, but it's okay. Bundelkhan fighting the Pope. Wow. I'm proud of you, Bundelkhan. I knew that you could they do died. it. <laughs> they died. Oh. I knew oh, that you uh, could try. I just had an army destroyed in uh, Guiziana, apparently. With mm. a Z in Brazil. But it was only a small army. What is this place called Louisiana? It's, a, it's another, yeah, Guziana with a Z in it, which is in uh, southern central Brazil. Perfect. That's the Pope out. It's the room. <laughs> well done, Bundokand. Bundokand made us all proud. Yes, also, I decided to solve the schism myself. <laughs> It's always a good moment of pride right, right there. I will note for anyone sailing over there, there is technically New Providence, which can be booted out. They're just, you know... It's fun that if they stay there. It's funny. It's up to you. Oh yeah, just... You know, like, siege them to get them out of the thingy or whatever. Alright, so I just won a battle against Brazil. They, uh, they are outnumbering me still. Well, yes, but they're not out-talenting you. Uh, Let me just put this in the most play way I can. You're not being out talented <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, the stacks are gathering here. It's annoying. I've been trapped in Kentucky or something. I might have to be able to do Battle of Mio Tass. Seems to be going my way. So Tibet and Khmer fighting in Brazil. Casually, th th this is this is like you know, uh, Tenzing Gyatso and uh, Surab. Uh, what's what's the what's the guy's name? What's that Khmer emperor's name? 
don't know. Uh, uh, Sinkyat, so I don't know what you're talking about then. Juravaya Mangar. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, of Ironman and Tenzin's uh, Brazilian vacation. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, Spanish Brazil, or Castilian Brazil, even. Yeah, still, uh, yeah, Not Castilian. Portuguese. Oh no, how many Castilians is that? <laughs> A Brazilian Castilians. <laughs> <laughs> wow, one Brazilian of Castilians. Thank you, uh, Dutch Mexico, for being cannon fodder so I can trap these while you are fighting down there. <laughs> I hope at least I can trap them. Slightly yeah. outnumbering me, but. Uh... I finally caught the Floridian fleets. Excellent. Um, although oh, I yeah, uh, I'll, I'll send my guys out to to reinforce your fleet so that we can take part in the party. Oh, they they run away apparently. Well, um, yes, but you're sieging down that place. Oh, sorry, no, I was talking about the Floridian fleets. Oh, the um, Floridian over, over in the Olympic. Okay, yeah, now I think we've got this battle happening. Yep, there we go. This should be a walkover because I've got all my heavy ships here. He said. Actually, not all of them because I did send some of them back. But yeah, I think we got this. Easy peasy. And this is what we call a bad time. Alright, on to the next siege. The Battle of Alabama. That's my best. That's pretty good, I thought. That's <laughs> just. <laughs> Somewhere in the background, Lucky Moose, that's hateful. <laughs> <laughs> I killed like 40,000 troops. Wiped. That's good. The oh, Mile of Alabama. Oh. Yay haw! <laughs> Jesus Christ, like, the, the 13 colonies are just unraveling and separatists. Can you stop? Trying to conquer you. Still in Brazilian. Five ships sunk. Exclamation mark. Trust that you've got the bulge of Brazil. I'll start working my way up towards the Amazon. How about the Dutch? So that's super chance that you're that you like doing for Brazil because I just don't. I didn't bother. Because he can't even. Down to 2k troops. Alright. I'm going to make Dorota now. Oh, yeah, it's like 6 30 at night. Bundelkan has arrived in Spain. Wow. Well, hey, Khmer, since you're right over there in uh, 
my yep, land that was, over. That was actually my plan because I saw those rebels there. Had to walk think, so far. What the? I think like. Can truth just vanish? What did I con? Oh, what, what just happened there? Oh. I cut the call to peace here. Not at all. I'm also doing something dumb, but necessary. Which is declaring war on my coalition. No? To also take Urbino and uh, fight Portugal while... Uh, I can't fight Spain. Or, well, Spain can't join in. I just realized I should have asked Japan to join in so that way they could take uh, land as well. I think I can... You can call me to arms. I'm definitely up for, uh, for helping against Portugal for obvious reasons. Uh, while it is paused, Anks, could you uh, shift whatever land is sieged over in the New World to uh, whoever you want it to be on? Uh, yes. Like honestly, like most of the stuff is just um, uh, Tang controlled. <laughs> um, I think what would be what would be nice if I could get like a Louisiana, colonial nation, and uh, Florida, like, 13 colonies, colonial nation. Which I cannot, in particular, uh, too much about right now. Because I don't have them yet. Uh, so I need to spawn them. Yeah, it's just some of the random provinces are sieged by Mikishiko or even Arutochi, despite the fact they don't want it. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's a little annoying. Okay, so let's see. Um, you should be able to take it back to your own siege ownership. Yeah. Because okay. they're so, vassal. Oh, this is this is a nightmare. Okay, I oh, actually I think it might be spotable. Instead of Japan, Japan. Yeah, actually, your de your lines are at least a slightly different color. And I would ask you if you do have stuff in the new 